Oh, what is going on guys, it's Ross Fox here today, back again with a brand new EAFC 24 Hall to Glory Save Episode 6 today, and hope you're all enjoying this series, obviously we're now in the month of October, sitting 3rd in the league, it was a very tough episode in the last one, hope you all check that out, come back down to earth for a bit of a reality check, with that loss to Norwich at home, a loss to Plymouth away and again another loss at home to Watford but it does not get any easier in today's episode we have Leeds United away at Ellen Road then we do welcome Cardiff to Hull and we play at the MKM Arena and then we do go away in another round of the fourth round of the Carabao Cup we go away to the Vitality to face Premier League side of Bournemouth but looking at the fixtures there's some very interesting ones that I mean Cardiff, Man United, Arsenal, Villa, Liverpool, Southampton, Man City, Watford. Did Chelsea get beat? I think they might have. Yeah, Arsenal beat Chelsea in the last round. So I said I couldn't see Chelsea on that list. But yeah, I mean, a bit of a reality check. We just need to basically we just need to perform better. We performed very to very low standards in the last episode of all our play, really. Just terrible all round. Couldn't really get anything. I mean... Could have understood the Norwich one, disappointed with the Plymouth one, and disappointed to throw away a late draw against Watford. But yeah, hopefully we have a better episode today, and I hope you all enjoy. So let's get straight into the action. Hope you enjoy. The stadium is buzzing already, and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it, and this should be something special on the pitch. This is EA TV. And we're broadcasting from this particular venue. It is a nice weather day here at Elland Road. It should be a cracking game, though. It's looking promising. Now, who can he pick out? Surely. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. a good goal lack of guile with regard to this I must say this looks promising can he make it count they've only gone and grabbed another one two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating Electing to shoot. Well, in position to make it a brace. But looks so lively. Well, on the final analysis, not quite. Running with the ball confidently. And a little too close to the keeper. And has eyes for goal. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Has a go. Easy save. Chavez. In position. Pulls it back. And he read it really well. Fine save. He has time to play it over. And both hands on it. Good goal. Trying to open up the defence. A goal! That's exactly what they need. Nice goal. Is this the moment? Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Got it right. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really him. Lucky, he chooses the right way, but he just does to take the lead. Well, there's the pullback. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this? This could be troublesome, and now waiting to pounce. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Tufan, can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer, and that could be oh so important.
blocked area of the pitch. Could be threatening. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were triggered to goals, and Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Drama guaranteed, and it's live, coming up next on EA TV. Very close to the Humber. Over it comes. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really. Sh He's protecting it effectively. Can he do it to take the lead? Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. Firing it towards goal. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get the due reward. What can they do with this one? They look for inspiration. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. 46 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Oh, that's a fine save. Who can he pick out? Oh, super header. That game will be fiercely competitive. Really looking forward to it. And foiled only by the crossbar. They would be in complete control. Oh, really hit with venom. And off the woodwork. For Cardiff to keep the ball. It's there for him. Well, he had the confidence to try his luck. Counter. Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. And it goes. The leveller. Thrilling stuff here. Well, it's open up. Plays it back. Oh, marvellous. Can they forge ahead? Yes, is the answer. Oh, so important. Traore with it. And did just enough defensively. On defeat. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, a high echelon contribution from Aaron Ramsey. And we do say that quite a lot in fairness, don't we? Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him.
come to the conclusion of the episode uh, a lot better than the last one starting off with that Leeds game absolutely back and forth I mean we took we, well we, we threw it away really we've got ourselves to blame Leeds put the pressure on when it counted and we managed to nick a draw but we got a point from that probably we should have won but like I said Ellen Road it was really tough they, they play very high pressing geek and press style but I mean, they had nine shots. To, we had eight shots. They had eight on target. We had seven on target. Pandu had to make four saves, and we forced Melier to make three saves. But yeah, I mean, Zarari, Zarari made it one nil to us, and Turfan made it two nil very quickly on. Before Rutter made it two one, and then Pyro got a penalty. Very poor challenge on him. Which put Leeds back in the game, given a penalty, got made it back to 2 2. Somerville made it 3 2 for Leeds, but then Turfan to the rescue, 3 3. And then we had Chair with a late one, 4 3. Thought we won it, but unfortunately, we threw it away last minute, and Rutter got us another goal and made it 4 4. Moving on to the game against Cardiff, very, very unlucky to lose. We absolutely should have won. We were with a lot better team. We were more dominant. We had more chances. I mean, we hit the po we hit the crossbar twice and we hit the post. Uh, what does that tell you? It just wasn't to be that game. But yeah, I mean, we had 12 shots. There are four shots. We had four on target. There and they had four on target. But that says a lot, really. 12 shots for us. Four, four on target. Not quite as clinical as we should have been. But Fabio Carvalho did put us one nil up, and Grant got a. Uh, Equaliser in the second half before Aaron Ramsey got that late winner. But like I said, I mean, Zarari hit the crossbar. We hit the crossbar again. Then Delap hit the post. Just wasn't to be. We dominated the game, but Cardiff took the chances, really. And we lost. So we've got a point against Leeds and a defeat against Cardiff. And then an absolutely very, very surprising result against Bournemouth. I, I thought Bournemouth would be a lot harder, but... We were we were more, a lot more clinical and we took our chances very very well. I mean, five, we beat them five one away from home, so we are now in the quarter finals of the Carabao Cup, which is great. I mean, Bournemouth did get a, a sending off. I mean, I mean they had eight shots, we had seven shots. They had four on target, we had seven on target, we had seven and seven, so every shot was on target. Very clinical performance. Pandur was was forced to make three saves, but Neto had made a couple of good saves too. But Philly Jean did put us 1 0 up in it with a 20 second minute penalty, which was very nice. And then Delap, Liam Delap, made it 2 0 in the 27th minute, 3 0 in the 74th minute. And then obviously Bournemouth got a late, uh, nicked one back in the uh, 80th minute, made it 4 1. And then Turfan with a counter attacking goal. Basically made it 5-1 in the 88th. But I mean, it was one of them really. They were pushing really high. We were winning the ball back in good positions. We defended really well. And we were very clinical when we had the chances. So that is that. So looking at the league table, we are in third. I mean, 28 points. Mm, not too bad. Still, We're still up there after 15 games, which is still important. We want to be as high as possible. So we're looking at playoffs. I wouldn't say automatic promotion. I'd say we are looking at playoffs this year. That's where they currently are in sixth in the league. But let's have a quick look at the Carabao Cup. And it is an away day to Old Trafford in the quarterfinals. As you can see, Brentford play Man City at home. Arsenal, Newcastle, Liverpool, Luton. And we've got Manchester United. So that is going to be a very tough one. I don't know when that is going to be. Okay, not towards the end of December. So... In the next episode, we shall be welcoming Southampton to the MKM Stadium. We'll go away against Coventry, and we'll go away to Stoke. So, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'm out once again. Peace!